At the conclusion of a three-week program on Dillard University's campus recently, <laughs> New Orleans middle school students were applauded for meeting a challenge to address a hurricane they were not alive to experience. It came up with so many, so many ideas. Trey Shane Turquit here is the program coordinator for what is called the Verizon Innovative Learning STEM Achievers Program, which the school hosts every summer. However, for the 20th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina making landfall there, Trey and his colleagues employed the students to use modern technology to prevent another hurricane from leaving the same devastating trail the adults still remember. Was your home okay? Um, so my home had minor damages, but a majority of my family um, wasn't so lucky. After being shown visuals on the damage Hurricane Katrina left, the students used tools like 3D printers to rebuild New Orleans with their ideas. I added more bridges and a hurricane bunker for people to stay in. 14-year-old Ann here was concerned with adding bridges and buildings on stilts. Meanwhile, 13-year-old Caden wanted to reconsider a subject that maybe is not everyone's first thought. Mostly like the sewage system during the time didn't work, so probably a stronger sewage system. Also, the students used virtual reality to get a 360-degree perspective of their proposed innovations. Trinity Charlie. But in addition to new ideas and a deeper understanding of her city's past, Caden says she also came away from this experience with an important lesson. Every problem has a solution, and even though something that bad happened before, you can always build off of that. 